How's it going, everyone? This is GWR Studios, and today we are going to be finding some more goofs in Thomas and Friends. Today's episode is Whistles and Sneezes. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so at the beginning of the episode, Gordon is complaining about Henry. A shape good enough for me is good enough for him. Gordon is jealous that Henry gets to pull the express. And he also complains about Henry's whistling. Henry whistles too much. Gordon says that Henry whistles too loudly at stations. It isn't wrong, but we just don't do it. This makes Henry feel bad, but Percy tries to cheer him up. Percy tells Henry that he likes his whistling, and he's glad he's back home. Gordon then leaves the roundhouse, and he tells Henry to remember what he said. Remember what I said. Later on, Henry arrives at Wellsworth Station, and Edward just so happens to be nearby. Edward tells Henry that he's glad he's back. I was pleased to hear your happy whistle yesterday. Henry thanks Edward, but in the distance, a high-pitched whistle can be heard. Can you hear something? Edward says that it sounds like Gordon, but Gordon doesn't whistle like that. But sure enough, it was Gordon. He was flying down the hill with his whistle on full blast, and when he made it to the station, his whistle was still blowing. Gordon was so embarrassed. Well, said Edward. Henry told Edward about what Gordon had said that morning. It isn't wrong, chuckled Henry, but we just don't do it. Meanwhile, Gordon was still blaring his whistle. He couldn't get it to stop. And this is where I saw the first goof. When Gordon goes down the hill, his wheels are moving way too slow. Look how fast they were moving at the top of the hill. Here it looks like they're moving in slow motion. I'm not quite sure what caused this, but this is definitely a goof. <laughs> Finally, Gordon arrives at the station. But listen to what the narrator says. At the station, everyone covered their ears. That's not true. None of these people on the platform are covering their ears. <laughs> Sir Topham Hatt ordered for Gordon to leave. Take him away, he bellowed, and stop that noise. Gordon is extremely embarrassed, and he puffs slowly away. His whistle wasn't fixed until a fitter hit it with a hammer. That night, Gordon slithered into the sheds. He was glad no other engines were around. It isn't wrong, murmured Henry, but we just don't do it. But no one mentioned whistles. And here's where the goofs start rolling in. The next morning, Henry is pulling a passenger train in the country. He was feeling great and running better than ever. But here come the goofs. Henry is in his old shape. And another thing, where are Henry's coaches? It's like they just disappeared. But that's not all. Take a look at this red stripe. It's coming off of Henry's paint job. Three goofs in just one scene. But there's more where that came from. When Henry approaches the bridge, some boys are standing at the top of it. But look at this. Right when Henry goes under the bridge, this bush randomly shakes. We'll get back to this in a minute. As it turns out, the boys were throwing rocks at Henry, and they smashed his coach's windows. <gasps> Henry was very upset. Now remember when we saw that bush randomly shaking? Well, the reason that happened was because Henry ran through it. We can see that the branch hovers right above the tracks, which means that Henry had to have hit it. They've broken our glass! They've broken our glass! Holy cow! How many rocks did those guys throw? It looks like they destroyed every window. The upset passengers wanted to call the police. Call the police! No, said the driver. These boys just destroyed Sodor property, and you're just gonna let it go? Can you keep a secret? Yes, yes. The driver tells the passengers that Henry is going to sneeze at the boys. Henry is going to sneeze at those boys. After telling the passengers the plan, Henry heads for the station. Lots of people were waiting at the station before the bridge. They were anxious to see what would happen. Henry has plenty of ashes. Please keep all windows shut till we've passed the bridge. Henry could hardly keep himself from sneezing, but he was ready to get back at those boys. Now here's a really hard goof to find. At the very beginning of this scene, Henry is at a complete stop. But then a second later, he starts moving. Soon they could see the boys, and they all had stones. How many stones do these guys need? How, how do they expect to throw all of those stones in that short instance? Well, fortunately, Henry's got it under control. Are you ready, Henry? The driver tells Henry to sneeze hard when he tells him. Now, he said. Down for the train. Hold on a second. How do these two boys have ashes on them when the smoke hasn't even touched them yet? I'll tell you how. The boys were covered in ashes, and no rocks were thrown at Henry's coaches. 
Henry then headed home, and he hoped that the next time he saw Gordon and the boys, they wouldn't be so mean. And this marks the end of the episode. Well, there you have it, folks. Those were all the goofs that I found in Whistles and Sneezes. I'm actually pretty confident that I found all the goofs. But having said that, if you saw a goof that I didn't point out, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Oh, <laughs>